Are your students struggling with the rules of adding and subtracting integers or adding and subtracting negative numbers? Ugh, it's such a tough concept to understand, right? And when our students, when they don't have a full grasp of integers, it makes learning everything else nearly impossible. If you don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. In this video, I'm going to share with you my exact strategy on the rules for teaching adding subtracting integers so that it's easy to understand so that you can move on to teaching other difficult concepts. Because the truth is, some of your students may understand this perfectly and you're ready to move on and it's not a problem, but your struggling students probably don't have a handle on this. And I pro and they're sitting there confused and frustrated with math because they don't understand how to add and subtract integers. Negative numbers are totally just like, they just don't get it. And it's, it's a struggle. So I'm gonna share with you again, exactly what I do. And I'm gonna share with you my integers reference sheet that you can download for free to use to hang in your classroom or to give to your students. Okay, so let's dive in to the rules that I use. So when it comes to adding integers, I have a special um, rhyme that I use specifically for adding integers. And the rhyme goes like this. It is going to be on the integers reference sheet, but it's same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract, Take the sign of the bigger absolute value and your answer will be exact. So actually, let me see if I can pull it up and show you. Here it is. Okay. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Take the sign of the greater absolute value and your answer will be exact. Okay, so let's go through some examples here of what I mean. So if I had... Um, let's do a couple of examples of same sign. So look, if I have negative three plus negative five, they're the same sign because they are both negative. So we're gonna add them, three plus five is eight and keep the negative sign, okay? Uh, if I had negative seven plus negative two, same sign, they're both negatives. Seven plus two is nine, we're gonna add and keep, okay? So that's pretty simple, right? All right, so what happens if they are both different signs? So if I had negative five plus three, so in the rhyme it says different signs subtract. All right, so we're gonna take five, take away three, and it's gonna give us two. And then it says, take the sign of the larger absolute value. So which number is going to give me a bigger absolute value? That would be five. And we're gonna take that sign. So five is negative, so therefore our answer is negative. And okay, so let's do negative four plus nine. Okay, different signs, we're gonna subtract. So I have uh, four, nine minus four is five. The sign, the number that would give me the largest, the larger absolute value is nine and that's positive. So my answer is gonna be positive. All right, let's do one more. Uh, let's do negative um, eight plus one. Okay, different signs, we're gonna subtract. Eight minus one is seven. The number that would give me the larger absolute value is eight and eight is negative. So my answer is gonna be negative. Perfect, and that's it. Please note that we only teach using these rules after modeling lots and lots of practice using visual models, using manipulatives, using algebra tiles, okay? Lots and lots and lots of practice for them to visually see how negative numbers work before we dive into the rules. I do not recommend just diving into the rules without showing visually how it works and why, okay? All right, so let's now that we have our multiple or our addition, let's go into subtracting integers. And when I when I teach my students subtracting integers, I tell them that we're only going to use three letters and that we are never subtracting 
And when you tell them that, they're like, what? But you, what, what we're subtracting. Yes, but we're really never subtracting. Okay, here's why. We're going to use three letters, K-A-O, and that stands for keep, add, opposite. Okay, so what does this look like in action? So let's pull up a different color here. Let's do orange. Okay, so if I have nine minus negative five, okay, I'm going to keep my first number, nine. I'm going to change my subtraction to an add. And then I'm going to change the second number to the opposite. So the opposite of negative five is positive five. So now it's really nine plus five, which is 14, okay? Hence why I'm never subtracting because I'm always adding the opposite. All right, so let's do another example. Um, let's do negative 10 minus three, okay? So remember, I'm gonna keep my first number, negative 10, and I'm going to change my subtract to an add, and I'm going to make my three the opposite. So this is going now going to be negative three. So now I have negative 10 plus negative three, and I'm going to use my adding rules, negative 10 plus negative three, this is the same sign, right? They're both negative, so I'm going to add 10 plus, thir 10 plus three is 13, and keep, all right? Uh, so let's do one more. Um, okay, let's do negative seven. I'm gonna change it to black here. I'm gonna do negative seven minus negative two. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my front number, negative seven. I'm gonna change my subtraction to an add, and I'm gonna make my negative two opposite, which is positive two. So now I am gonna use my addition rules. These are different signs, right? So I am gonna subtract here. Seven take away two is five, and the number that's gonna me that's going to give me the biggest absolute value is seven and it's negative. So negative five. And those are the rules. Those are my adding and subtracting rules. Again, if you'd like to grab my integers reference sheet, so you can see here, here are the rules for adding integers. And here are the rules for subtracting integers. We've got our KAO, there's a couple of examples. And again, you can find this exact free download in the description box below. And I just wanna remind you to please, before you teach any of these rules, make sure that you are using a ton of visual models to show your students exactly why we are, you know, exactly what happens when we're adding integers, exactly what happens when we're subtracting integers, because they have to they have to visually see what is happening first before we can dive into the rules. But this video was to help you if you are teaching the rules to make it a little bit easier for your students to, to have rules that are easy to follow. I hope you found this video to be helpful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.